Hello guys, Camels for Beginners Part 3 In this part I will show you how to define a feature in Camels So, first part we define the machine, the tools and the post processor The second part we define the stock manager And now we need to tell our software what do you want, what do we want to do So, machinable features in Camels you have two options If you have a 2.5 axis part It is my recommendation to let the software to recognize for you all the machinable features But all, of course you can also define interactively a machinable feature In this tutorial I will show you both for this part, I will let the software define and recognize all the machinable features and I will interactively insert one or two. So, which types of features it is available in cameras? Well, you have two big types of features in cameras, 2.5 axis features and the other one which is called three at multi-surface feature which is for complex surfaces for three, four or five axes and also related to uh, 2.5 axes you will have the ability to define the perimeter of the feature so for this part we are not talking about the multi-surface feature this is a 2.5 axis part the features in camels can be defined in this area which is called Camos Feature 3 So, Camos Feature 3 I will run Extract Machinable Features But first, let me show you this picture So, you can see right now a simple part with all the 2.5 axis features available So, this Type of features are recognized automatically when you run extract machine ball features command. So, any type of pocket, it's a rectangular pocket. This is 2.5 axis pocket with round fillet. You will also have a irregular step, a slot, a multi stepped hole, a rectangular corner slot. A circular boss, all brown pocket, irregular boss, irregular pocket, irregular corner slot, counter hole, counter, counter sun hole, counter bore hole, and a simple hole. In conclusion, any types of 2.5 axis pockets, any type of hole, you can also, uh, I can also recognize the perimeter of the part and is not here on this photo also the face feature so this is the a very powerful tool in cameras and I advise you to use it so our part let's put some allowance on Z axis plus and right now as I told you we will run extra machinable features but what do you, do you want to for cameras to recognize all type of features or not? Right click on camera sensing manager, options, mill features. This is the feature types which will recognize automatically by cameras. Holes, non-holes, both, taper and filleted, multi-surface pockets, which are corner slots and slots face and part perimeter. I will leave unchecked the face and part perimeter because I will want to insert it myself. So, extract machinable features. For this feature, cameras recognize a counter bore hole, a hole group, a rectangular slot, and an O-brown part. As you can see, all the features with in red color right now are grouped under a mill part setup one. What is 
mill park setup in Chemo's feature tree, while mill park setup is defined in the tool axis and the working area. So, this green circle are the working area and the red arrow are the tool axis. If you are happy with this, you will you can go on to the next next step of Chemor's process. But I want for this to define also a face and let's try to define also a part perimeter. How can I do this? Right click on mill part setup one, new 2.5 axis feature. What type of feature do you want to define? Well, I want to define a face feature. Please notice that end condition is disabled. So in Camos, when you define a 2.5 axis feature, you will need to, it's just like in SOLIDWORKS, you will define the beginning of the feature and the end. So my face feature will start from here, end condition it's enabled. And I want to have this face feature up to stop. My face feature is the green rectangular feature, as you can see in the, in the area right here. I will click OK, and now I have a face feature defined. If you want to, to define interactively uh, all the features in your part, well, ignore the middle part setup one. You will go to Stock Manager, right-click it, New Mill Park Setup. You will need to define a working area. So for working area, Camworks needs a planar face or a plane. This is my working area. As you can see, automatically I have the green arrow, which is my tool axis defined normal to my selection. I will click OK. I have this new mill part setup. Right click, new 2.5 axis feature. What type of feature do you want to define? Let's try a pocket. My pocket will start. I want to define a, this edge. Camos automatically define all the tangent edges to my edge selection and condition up to face right here so I have an overall pocket and I promise you I will, we will define also a perimeter in perimeter feature it's simple right click new part perimeter feature right now cameras already defined the exterior contour of the part you will need to define two types of part perimeter if you want, if you choose the, the first one, boss, you will have the all the functions for a boss feature. You, if you define an open pocket, you will you will have all, all the functions for an open pocket. Just one uh, remark here: an open pocket. Please imagine an open pocket like the part according to the stock. So all, the part according to the stock, it's open on all direction. So I will choose, let's say, boss and click OK. And I have here two new features defined interactive. So this is the way to define a 2.5 axis feature in cameras. Until the next tutorial, bye.